What's going on everybody, I'm Patrick from Powlax and welcome to the Powlax Backyard. In this video, we're gonna be going over question marks. This is the Powlax Backyard, where I'll be teaching techniques, common mistakes, and showing you ways to improve your game at home. Before we get started, I'd like to thank all of the Powlax members whose generous contributions make these videos possible. We believe that the best way to improve and grow the lacrosse landscape is by educating players, parents, and coaches with the information they need to be successful so they can enjoy the sport. That's why all of the Powlax videos are free to watch anytime, anywhere. If you enjoy the Powlax content and want to help contribute to their creation, consider becoming a member at Powlax.com. For just $5 a month, you gain access to the entire Powlax playbook, a series of PDFs that accompany all the Powlax videos. Once again, thank you to all of the Powlax members. Now let's get back to the video. Question marks fall under a set of skills that I like to call hands-free dodges. Now a hands-free dodge is any dodge we're gonna use as we're running with our defenseman. So if the 11th man here is running with me and I want to pass the ball forward or behind me, I'm gonna use a hands-free dodge to separate from the defenseman in order to pass either forward, back, or through the defense. Now, for a question mark, we're gonna be throwing or shooting behind us. And if we're gonna be passing, it's gonna have a little bit different technique than if we're going to be shooting, because if we're shooting, you'll see we're gonna be moving towards the outside of the field and we're gonna to wanna to shoot a lot quicker than we may want to pass. So. In order to do a question mark, if I'm going to be passing back behind me and I'm going to pass back to the bounce back behind me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jab into my defenseman. This is going to push him off of his line and it's going to create space on the outside of the field. Once I've jabbed him in, I'm going to throw my stick to the sideline by making sure my bottom hand is outside of my other hip and keep the stick on the outside of the field as I do the rest of the movement. Now, once my stick is on the outside of the field, now I'm going to move to go get my stick by taking steps away from the defenseman and as I move away I'm going to kind of wide turn away and I'm going to switch hands by moving my body around the stick not pulling my stick back behind me so as I move around the stick I'm going to switch hands as well by taking my bottom hand moving it up to the middle of the stick my top hand is going to move then to the bottom of the stick and as I move around this wide turn circle I'm then going to throw the ball back the way I came Another aspect of hands-free dodges is the ability to carry a slide away from the rest of the defense. So if I'm dodging here and I come up to the island and I'm looking, trying to see if I've got anybody to feed and I see a slide come to me, I'm going to use my question mark to drag the slide and my defenseman away from everybody else so that as I turn and execute my question mark, then I've now created offense because I've drawn two defensemen and so now we should be at least five on four back behind us. Now, if I'm gonna shoot with a question mark, there's one main difference that we wanna focus on, and it's the fact that as I jab, throw my stick to the sideline, I don't wanna take four or five steps as I switch hands to the outside, because now I'm ruining my angle. What I'd rather do is I'd rather shoot it as quickly as I can once I'm up to that spot. So as I come through and I jab and I throw my stick to the sideline, this step is gonna become a pivot foot for me to do a jump shot. So now in one motion, I'm going to jump off of this foot, switch hands and shoot back the way I came like this. Now question marks don't always have to be done at the island like that. If I'm actually dodging down towards the goal, it's gonna work in a very similar fashion where if I execute a dodge here and I'm running downfield and I see that slide come to me, same idea. Jab, throw my stick to the sideline, turn to go get it, switch hands, and then throw the ball back up top, back the way I came. Now we're gonna do a few drills that we can do in order to work on our question mark. Now, regardless of what drill you're doing, all you have to do is make sure you set up whatever space you can work with so that you're gonna end up throwing the ball behind you. I have the bounce back set up to pass to, and then I have the goal to shoot to. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is work on keeping our stick away after we jab, throwing our stick to the sideline, and then switching hands as we wide turn if we're passing, and as we jump shot if we're shooting. So if I'm gonna pass back to X, I'm gonna stand here, athletic position, jab, throw my stick to the sideline, continue moving, wide turn, switch hands, and throw back the way I came. 
to do it a little bit faster. It's jab, turn, switch, throw back the way I came. Now, if I'm gonna be shooting, it's gonna go much quicker because I'm gonna jab, step. This step is gonna be the place I jump off of. I'm gonna turn my back hip around, switch hands as I'm in the air, and then shoot through to that opposite pipe. So if I do that a little quicker, it's gonna look like this. Okay, the next drill we're gonna do is some kind of simulation of doing the question mark after a dodge. And first, I'm gonna come up to basically top center and I'm gonna simulate a midfield dodge. So as I run through, say, my split dodge, once I make my move, I'm always gonna add in some kind of hesitation, a rocker, maybe a little front hitch, and then could be a look back fake or a look into the middle to kind of freeze the slide. Then once I continue moving, now I'm gonna use my question mark, jab inside, throw my stick to the sideline, turn around and go get it, and then throw it back the way I came. Now, if I'm gonna be doing that in my backyard, I'm gonna pull my All Ball Pro up and I'm gonna put it back there. But for this, now we're gonna go over one where I'd be throwing it back to X. So if I'm going from the attack position, I can simulate that entire dodge from X. Here, I don't have quite enough room. I'd wanna move this entire, I'd wanna shift this entire thing up a bit if I was gonna do it in my backyard. But here, I'm gonna work on a subtle rocker at GLE, getting up to five and five, and then question marking my shot. So as I come through, I've got my head up, one hand on, I'm gonna come through, rock back, get to five and five, throw my stick to the sideline, turn, and shoot my shot. I hope this video has helped you get a better understanding of the game and how to practice at home. If you liked it, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the Palax YouTube channel, and follow Palax on social media. To watch and learn more, support the Palax mission, and download the PDFs that accompany all of the Palax videos, head to palax.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.